Haha, what is this? It's the Witch Doctor people, and yes, this is our first Oraz OU battle on my channel. And it is against my friend Yukimoto. And let me tell you, when I saw his team, I yeah, 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 yeah. I was expecting a lot more of the lines of something in OU kind of things. But the only thing I see is the Heatran and Garchomp. But it's actually a really nice looking team because I wasn't expecting the Mew and Suicune. And I I don't like Suicune as much anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like Suicune. But it is a very annoying wall. But as you can see on my team, I have something to deal with Suicune very well, which is my nice Mega Sceptile. Oh, yes. Look at that beautiful thing over there. Oh, yes. Well, my team is not really based around Mega Sceptile. It's just more of it being there. And... I have Mandibuzz as my physical wall, Landorus, uh, Talonflame, Scarf Greninja actually, and Offensive Speed Heatran. Now this is a Timid Heatran and you will see where this comes into play later, but enough with the introduction of the team, let's just get right into it. Oh, that background music though. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Landorus as he's going to lead off with his Gavantula. Now. On this turn, I could have gotten up my rocks, which I really should have. When I look back at it, I really should have got my rocks up this turn because all I thought of was just getting damage off on Galvantula and then trying to, you know, just getting its sash and stuff, bring it down to its sash. And then I decided to U-turn out. That's what my whole intention was to the Galvantula because here comes the Suicune and... I make a very weird switch out here as I U-turn because I actually go out into Obsidious. Now, if you don't know who Obsidious is, that is actually my Heatran. Uh, if you've seen it in some of Duncan's Wi-Fi battles for um, Free For Alls, yeah, you've probably seen Obsidious before. But yeah, there's a reason you're wondering, why did I bring in Heatran on a Suicune? Because in OU, when I thought about it, there's only one kind of Suicune this person could have. And when I thought about it, I was actually thinking about putting my uh, Choice Specs Heliolisk on this team, which I really should have. I really should because then there's nothing that this Suicune could have done to me because I have Dry Skin. But I go for the Taunt to stop it from setting up. And I'm sorry, I hit my mic by accident. But as you can see, my Mandibus just eats up this Skull. But the, here, the thing is here, I just realized that when I look at my team, I don't have anything for special hits. I need a special wall. So I'm thinking about changing my Mandibus to a special wall. Uh, I don't know. This is still like my beta version of the Sceptile team. I'm going to fix it up more later. I'm just testing it out. And I'm trying to get my feet in the waters of Oraz OU and stuff like that. You know, I mean, I had time, obviously, to uh, do that on Showdown, but I didn't. And here I went for Toxic when I really wanted to go for Knockoff. On hindsight, I should have just gone for Knockoff. And here I get, like... I guess a useless crit but he goes for the flash cannon and let me tell you that that hurts it hurts mandibuzz the pain <laughs> mandibuzz she feels the pain oh lord but sticky webs are getting annoying so i'm just gonna get rid of them now i don't need those things so the webs are gone here comes a lava plume and let me tell you yukimoto got really unlucky by not getting any burns this battle. So a little small spoilers. Um, actually make three mistakes this battle. Two of them aren't so bad, but one of them just ends up costing me so much. And we'll see. So good move on his part for going for the flash cannon again. Because I don't know if he was still trying to fish for the burn. But, like I said, I am Timid Heatran, and I don't have to worry about this one because I have the Earth Power, and bam. Heatran has been sent to the darkness, and I have no need to worry about this thing anymore. Ooh, but this thing, this thing right here, if I would have gotten rocks up, I probably could have knocked this thing out already. But, you know, you know, smart old witch doctor didn't get rocks up right away, which, oh man. Looking back at it, man, I really should have gotten rocks up. Like, it's not even funny. Uh, and then it has Earthquake, which I can see why it has Earthquake, because of all the Magnet Zone and Heatrans running around right now. Um, if you're wondering why I have Scarf Greninja, uh, 
when I went into this battle, I kind of forgot Mega Salamence was already banned. And again, that was my part. Now, here was my first mistake right here. It pays off because he actually switches out. And my, me, I am the smart person. Yes, even though I'm considered a witch doctor, doctors aren't that smart most of the time. Doctors. That darkness doctor. Yeah, I get that. Well, whatever. But I went for the Dragon Pulse, and it, it did a little chunk to that Mew. But regardless, I should never have gone for the Dark Pulse. Also, I should have just stayed in on the Mew and went for a Leaf Storm. But instead, I go out to my Landorus. Why I went into Landorus, I really don't know. I get hit with the Willow Wisp. Yep, I get hit with the Willow. And the thing is, my item before this was actually Lumberry. So, really, I'm just taking a little gun and just shooting myself in the foot every single time that I decide to make these small changes that I think are necessary in my team. I did the quotation things even though you can't see them, but I did them anyways. It's like just you know. But here I know the Suicune was coming out, so I actually go for rocks and I know I'm faster than Suicune, so I'm just gonna go ahead and U turn out. I don't wanna hard switch into anything and take damage like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and U-turn. Watch how pitiful this damage is. It does nothing. Man, I, I just don't know. I really don't. Why did I let my Landris get burned? I don't know. But uh, watch how yummy these this plus one Scald from a Suicune is. It, it's, just, it's so refreshing. Septile was thirsty this match, you know. He was going through some hard things, and he's like, you know, I'm a little tired right now, Witch Doctor. I could really go for some water. And I'm all like, man, you know what? Hot water sometimes is pretty good. But uh, first, let me take your soul really quick with that Giga Drain, even with a pl Man! Mega Sceptile, people. I love this thing. Yum! Look at that. Nice hot tea. Sceptile's throat was sore. Wanted some hot tea with some honey. You know, I got the sap from my tail. Why not? Let me just mix this in real quick. Yum! Fucking yum. So here, I'm like, you know what? Giga Drain could have killed, but let me just go for Leaf Storm. Let me just decimate that Suicune. And look at that. That Mew just did not take that whatsoever. <laughs> nope. That Mew just like, ouch, the pain. I can't deal with this. So I'm going to go ahead and Leaf Storm again. And unfortunately, here I get a useless crit. Not when a crit matters, a useless one. Oh, Lord. What can I do? What, what can I do? And he sent out Galvantula just to, I guess, sack it. I probably would have saved it as fodder for something else later, but I don't know. And guys, right here, right here is where I make the bad play because I forget Altaria is Dragon Fairy. <laughs> the pain. Oh, that goes like a step top. At first, I thought it was going to be okay because it was, I saw at first it was a physical Alteria, which I've seen before in some Oraz lives, but it ended up being mixed. The pain. The fucking pain. And this Garchomp here also gives me a little bit of trouble because I could have dealt with it a little bit differently, which wouldn't have cost my Talon Flame actually. I mean, regardless, eh, I think you guys know where this battle is going at this point. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but you know, he actually has the rock, the rock tomb. And if he would have had stone edge, that would have just flat, strat out, strat out. Yes, yeah, strat out is a word. Flat out killed me. <laughs> I'm not doing any other takes, people. I'm more of a one take kind of guy. That's just how I am. But here he predicts the roost and goes for the swords dance. You see, at that point, I really should have just went for Brave Bird instead of going for the other bulk up because I really had no reason to roost at the point because I still could have taken one of the um, rock tombs. But here, oh lord, I just, I'm down to half. Rough skin, rocky helmet, Brave Bird recoil takes my soul away. Dead, just done. Oh man. Well, well, I still got my Scarf Greninja, which bites me in the ass, because if it was Life Orb, if it was Life Orb, oh my goodness. 
Sceptile was my winning condition in this battle. I needed Sceptile so badly to win this battle. And what did I do with Sceptile? Let Sceptile die. So here, I think, I'm not too sure. You can calculate. I think the Sweet can still would have lived. But uh, I'm pretty sure if I was Life Orbed, I would have probably killed it. But again, I'm not too sure. And then it goes ahead and gets off its rest. So here's my thing. When I look back at it, I'm not 100% sure because, guys, like I said, I'm still trying to get into this myself. I'm still learning. It's a learning process for me. The good thing about this is that you guys get to watch me learn. You get to see me where I come up and then, you know, stuff like that. I started from the bottom, then you see where I can end up. I'm not going to say now we're here because I hate that song. Here I go on to Mandibuzz, and I think I go for knockoff right away instead of going for Roost because... I mean, either way, it was a, if I would have, it couldn't have killed me with Scald. I don't know why I roosted. I should have just went straight for the knockoff. I don't know. I'm dumb. That's just me, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is just me. But I really regret making a physically defensive Mandibuzz. Because when I looked at my team, I could use Landers as more my physical wall kind of thing. But I wanted something with recovery. And I... I just looked at my team and I I'm not too satisfied with it I will make my changes later it's just as of right now I'm gonna I'm still using it for a little bit because I also got another battle that I want to upload after this I'm swaying side to side I don't know why but <laughs> I really should face cam sometimes because you guys can see the point I don't know when I do recordings and stuff like that I'm I'm active like I like to move and stuff like that even though you guys can't see it but it's just you know I like to move so here I get the toxic off on the Suicune and let me tell you if this thing has rest there is no point because I am actually thinking about running taunt on my mandibuzz but I just don't see where I have the room for it I don't know I guess I could probably get rid of toxic no I would need that door um I don't know I really don't know. If I decide to get like a rapid spinner instead, maybe if I get an Excadrill, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, get an Excadrill that I can get rid of Defog and put the Taunt. I like that. Why don't I do that? I don't know. That way, this guy couldn't have not couldn't have gone for rest. But then again, guys, like I said, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting a Suicune. I wasn't expecting a Mew. A sticky wet. I mean, sticky wet didn't really do anything this battle. But you know what I'm talking about. I wasn't expecting any of this. Garbage. Not his team or anything. I'm just saying on my part, garbage. I just wasn't expecting any of this. And here I decided to let Landers die. But there, guys, as you can see right here, it's a wrap. There is no point in continuing on anymore. Uh, I decided to be a good sport. I'm gonna go ahead and give him the benefit of killing the rest of my pokes because this was actually a decent battle. Uh, it would have ended a lot differently if I would have preserved my Sceptile and didn't freaking forget about Fairy Dragon Altaria. Stupid ass cotton ball, I swear. <laughs> but hey, it worked out for him, I guess. My mistakes uh, gave him the win. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure a Leaf Storm would have killed Altaria from that point. I don't know, because I think... Fairy resist grass. I'm not too sure. And my gunk shot just does nothing. It, it Suikun said, Yum, well what what are you trying to feed me? Garbage? Well, guess what? I can eat garbage. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I need to get me another Mandibuzz, because Mandibuzz knows how to take pain. It actually lives a scald. And I get the toxic off again. I'm not about that whole, let me try to roost all kind of thing. Nah. You know, like I said, guys, there's nothing I can do. Oh, Lord, the darkness is falling to Yukimoto, but it was still a really good battle. And I like how I'm calling the battle before the thing even ends. I guess I'm just saying this so you can see the, you know, the demise of my other pokes. So, Scarf Greninja right now is a no-no. That's a no-no. Oh, Lord.
But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Darkness.